Okay, this is a series. There should be an annotation on the screen to the playlist. If you haven't watched the rest of the videos already, I recommend it. Okay, we've been working with this text file, which just has a bunch of random words, numbers, special characters, and punctuation that I put together for this tutorial. Now, uh, we've been using said, like so. We could say said, uh, and we're going to pass it that file. So we're saying said, substitute, something with something else and do it globally means every instance of it inside this file so again we can say find the letter T and replace every capital T and replace it with a lowercase t and there we went from capital this and capital that to lowercase this and lowercase that um, now there is another command for said if you look in the um, uh, the man page called dash n. That's kind of a silent mode. It doesn't display anything. <laughs> In this particular case, it's kind of stupid. Uh, but there are uses for it, and I'm going to show you one here. Because uh, right here, we're not modifying the file, and we're not displaying anything in the screen. So really, it's doing all the work, but not giving us any type of output, whether saved or to the screen. But again, there are uses for it, and one of them would be to do p. Uh, P means print matches. So we're saying, don't show us anything. That's what this is saying. Don't show us anything, but the P is saying, except for the matches. Uh, so we're going to hit that, and it does do that. It displays the P. Um, it displays every line that has a match. Uh, and But in this case, it's only replacing the first. See, you can see it didn't replace this T or this T or this T because it's not the first on the line. Well, we can still pass it the G. So we can say PG or GP. I don't think it matters. And hit enter there. And we have replaced every capital T with a lowercase T. And we're only showing the lines that there are matches for. Because you can see this line and this line didn't show up because there's no T's in those lines. But now let's say we don't want to change anything. Well, uh, there's a few things you can do. I guess you could just go replace all lowercase t's with lowercase t's. Up, oh, see, nope. Th oh, there are no lowercase t's. You can re say replace all capital t's with capital t's, and and it finds that. Okay, and we can say, oh, I only want to find lines that have the word that with a capital T and that, and replace it with that, uh, and that works. But another way, if you remember, in earlier tutorial, we used the ampersand to say replace t whatever the find wherever the match is and whatever the ampersand is is the match so we can do this it's basically doing this is basically the same thing as doing that except for a little bit shorter especially if you're trying to match a longer string well, let's say I wanted to find uh, any line that said tiny toes I wouldn't have to type tiny toes twice I only have to type it once and the ampersand will basically replace it with itself uh, this is similar to grep. In fact, I think I might have done a tutorial on this a while back, um, but if for some reason, I mean, I doubt you're going to be on a system where you have said and you don't have grep, but if for some reason you want to use said instead of grep, maybe uh, you're going to be uh, passing it a few commands like we did in an earlier tutorial, like, you know, something like this, uh, toes with um, Bob. You know, maybe you don't want to start up another process. You can do a search with uh, this. In fact, I'm not 100% sure. No, they see that wouldn't display that. So that, that's a bad example uh, because we have our silent N there. I could put a P at the end of that. Anyway, I'm sure there's an instance where you would want to use said instead of grep for some reason. But if you needed to, there it is. And uh, that's it for this tutorial. So I showed you how to, you know, display only lines of the ones you're trying to uh, do replacements on, and I also showed you how, or reviewed on how to replace the matched with itself, and <laughs> show you that there is maybe a reason that you wanted to do that. Anyway, I thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris of the K. Link in the description. Uh, and I hope that you have a great day. Oh, be sure to like this video and subscribe. Uh, of course, have a great day.